Hey guys, Jim Bobman here, and she's gonna be doing some Boom Beach gameplay. This time, what we're doing, guys, is pretty much facing Dr. Terror Volcano Base and hopefully winning. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, what I have here, guys, is pretty much just a normal one of my combos that I use. Um, pretty much, as you guys can see, we got some heavies and then we got some Zukas right here. This is actually my first Boom Beach video on this channel, so it's gonna be pretty cool, and I'm really excited for it. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start Dr. Terror, and hopefully, hopefully we can win. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much take out a few things, uh, in the pretty much, uh, pretty much island or whatever, because I don't want to get, uh, destroyed by them, and I kind of want to save all my troops. I don't want any of my troops really to get destroyed right now, so I'm kind of, I'm trying, I'm kind of just, like, being protective of my troops and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and send in our troops and over here. We're sending them a little bit back just so we don't have to worry about them. I'm not going to do any shocking or anything like that. Um, uh, just, just, I'm just going to simply let them go in there and they should be able to do that. Uh, for precautions, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just send a pretty much a barrage right there. And then it should be good so we'll just throw uh, just a normal shot right over there to destroy it. But whatever. Easy takedown and terror sage, which is awesome, and I'll just throw that stun there for fun, and we'll just smoke them. Why not? Um, so yeah, Doctor Terror Stage One, very easy takedown, really really easy victory. So um, yeah, let's go on to the next Doctor Terror Stage. So uh, just looking at this one, so this one's a little bit more trickier. We do have a shock cannon in the back. I'm gonna get rid of that in just a second. Uh, so I'll just uh, throw in my pretty much. Uh, what's it called? I'll throw in my missile there, and then I'll throw in another barrage back over here. We have to get rid of the shock cannon because it's one of the most annoyingest things to pretty much face against. Uh, I should have done it more on that side. Uh, so what I'm going to do is send in pretty much some troops here. Uh, none over here. Uh, we'll send in some heavies over here, and pretty much... I want to send them all in here so we can gain pretty much a little bit of... Um, Pretty much attacks, uh, sorry, a little bit of missiles so that we can get rid of this. Oh my god, it's so low right now. Okay, so we need to get a, a few more, and then we should be able to get rid of that right over there. Um, I'm just trying to wait. There we go. Yes, we have enough now. We'll send that in there. We don't want any of our troops getting stunned. Um, and now they should be cutting in. Yes, they are cutting in. Uh, I don't want these guys to be destroyed over there, so lucky my heavies went in there, which is really good. Uh, we got... The flamethrower coming in over here, so, uh, sorry, the rocket launcher coming in there, so I'll throw a, pretty much a health pack down, uh, med kit, kit just to protect them, and then once this thing targets, I will go ahead and stun that right over there, uh, and then that should easily just go down like that, and then we'll go ahead and target this building over here, so they should now do that, so we'll go ahead and put pretty much a health pack there just in case, and then it should be Easy peasy, Doctor Stare, Doctor Terror, Stage Two on the volcano base. Easy takedown. Okay, so let's go into Stage Three, guys. Um, see how this goes. Attack this guy. I love Doctor uh, Terror because of just how the loot is. It's just the best. So we'll go ahead and pretty much get rid of the shock cannons at the beginning, uh, just to get those out. I don't want, like I said before, I really don't want anything pretty much at the beginning that I have to worry about. So, we'll go ahead and send in another barrage right here, and hopefully that takes it down. And, yes, it did take also. It also took down the rocket launcher, which is really good, so that is awesome. Now, what I want to do is pretty much send in a cannon right over here, so it attacks both of them. Awesome. And then we get got one more shot right over there, which got pretty much rid of the rest now. And now we pretty much got rid of all the key defenses, so we can pretty much send in our troops right in here and just be all right. Um... But for this specific one, guys, I'm actually going to be changing it up a little bit. I'm going to be sending my troops over here uh, because I'm actually going to be doing, maybe I'll do a double stun or just take them out. But at the exact same time, I'm going to be kind of sending my troops in two different positions. Uh, so these guys are going to go over here uh, to pretty much take down these defenses because we are short for time a little bit. But I first want to get rid of uh, a little bit of defenses here. And then what I'll do is I'll pretty much get rid of that cannon right over there. And then once I do uh, pretty much get rid of that cannon, uh, I, I want to be careful about these guys, so I'll go ahead and send them back here. Um, I may have to smoke. I may. Oh, don't don't target my zukas. Okay, good. He didn't target my zukas. Okay, that's really good. So we may have to throw another, pretty much, 
uh, flare there just to get them over there. I want to get rid of these defenses over here just to lower pretty much the base, but then at the exact same time so that we can get rid of that right over there. So we are getting really, really, really short for time now, so we got to be careful, guys. If, if it pretty much goes under um, a minute, I will be pretty much going in. So um, let's just go ahead and... Sorry, under two minutes, I'll do it. So I'm just sending these guys just so we can do this. I think I can stun both of them. Uh, but if not, we'll just lose one heavy, which won't be that bad. Um, and then as you guys can see, our Zookas right up here are just taking down the rocket launchers that the heavies would have a little bit of trouble in. And now they're getting severely damaged. So I'll just send in a heal pot right over there. And then at the exact same time, I'll throw in a stun, which got rid of one, which is not that bad. And then the other one's getting affected, so I'll go ahead and throw a health in here just to help them out. Um, and then they should be good, so now we're just cutting down here, which is really good. Um, and then just to be safe, uh, we should be good to just uh, cut in. No, don't attack my troops over here. Uh, so they're targeting that, which is good. Uh, I just don't want the the pretty much the our guys to be destroyed over here, but oh no, they're targeting them. No. Why did I do that? It's not a smart idea. Uh, so we'll just throw that in there. Hopefully, yes, get rid of that. Oh my god, we lost a lot of troops there. That was not good. I did not expect that to happen. I thought it would be destroyed, and then uh, I would have saved all those troops over there. But I guess stuff is not always how you plan it. No, Zookas, no. Okay, good. Zookas destroyed that building, and now they are targeting this. Just go ahead and target that building, Zookas. Um, there we go. Destroy it. Yes. Okay, good. They destroyed it. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to pretty much train up some troops really quick. I'll do that really fast. Uh, oh my god. So many troops. So many troops to train up, guys. Uh, let's just collect our loot really quickly and create a, um, spell right over here. I will go ahead and quickly train up our troops so we can fight Terror Stage again. Okay, so this stage is going to be a little bit tricky, guys. we got a few... Pretty much things that we have to get rid of. So we'll first send this in, guys. We'll pretty much get if it hits there, possibly. I guess it did not. Uh, so we'll send that in right there. So it gets rid of pretty much the the problems that we have over there. And then also, guys, what we'll do is pretty much send two of these guys in right here. And that should get rid of those defenses. Now we can send in pretty much our Zookas and Heavies to now just do, do the damage over here. We have two cannons to worry about over here. So I'll go ahead and barrage the first one, which should destroy it re relatively fast. Um, and then after that, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and target this guy right over here. Because I can, it's, it's just really easy to target him. Um, and then we have a machine gun. Hopefully it doesn't target my troops that I need. I don't want it to target them. Okay, good. It's not. So we're just about at 11 to disable this defense. Okay, we're at 11. So now that is gone, which is good. And now we have relatively nothing that can hurt our heavies to a certain extent because we had a lot of stuff that w was hurting our heavies a lot. And now we have nothing. So we'll go ahead and shock this area right over here just to get rid of pretty much this archer tower here, which will pretty much do the most damage to our heavies right now. We will also send in a heal spell right over here, so just to keep our heavies up, we'll also send in another heal spell over here to keep them up even higher in terms of HP and stuff like that. And now we have, like, the problem is now this heavy right over here is really getting damaged, so we're going to go ahead and shock this area right over here just to keep him alive. And then uh, they should be just going, simply just going after this, um... Pretty much spell right over here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and yeah. Actually, we did just get the base, so that is all right. So no casualties, really good. Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and attack again. So this is a little bit tricky stage, as you guys can see. We have some pretty much uh, uh, what's it called statues or whatever that are going to be really annoying and really tricky to deal with. So what we'll do is we'll throw a pretty much. A barrage in here which should damage that cannon at the exact same time and then what we're going to do is throw a normal shot in there and then one more shot which did not get rid of the target I wanted unfortunately leave it with a lot of a little bit of HP which is not that bad so what I'm going to do guys is we're going to cut into this side more so what I have to do is I have to send in pretty much our own troops right here and then them on the other side right over here at the exact same time throwing a stun over there just to uh, pretty much lower them right oh pretty much lower them, uh, sorry, make the defenses so they don't work, and now what we'll do is hopefully that guy doesn't get targeted, so I'm going to go ahead and put a, pretty much, uh, a, just a 
uh, smoke there just so they don't get it targeted. And now, oh, don't know. They're getting targeted more. Destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. Yes. Oh my God, we just took a ton of damage there. Okay, so. And we'll just go ahead and smoke that really quickly. Really bad smoke, actually, because now these guys aren't targeting. Um, so, go target that boom cannon. Oh, my God. Yes, get it, get it, get it. Okay, you got the boom cannon. Awesome. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to... First, we're going to throw a bomb right over here. Just to lower them even more. And then we're going to go back here for a second. Send all our troops back here. Um... Don't target my troops. Okay, good. Don't target my troops back here. Not back there. No, don't target. Oh, that was, that was killing in terms of damage, unfortunately. Okay, are you targeting? Yes, you're targeting the uh, troops closest. Oh, my God, this is difficult. Okay, so we'll just throw a, I don't know, flare there. So this should be good, guys. We should be able to destroy this, and that troop should be saved over there. Oh, my God, this is difficult. Okay, um... Come on. Okay, good, good, good. Good, you get you're not taking any damage, which is really good. And they should be they should be able to do it, guys. And there we go. Destroy it. Destroy it. Yes, destroyed it. And our heavy safe. Uh safe, which is really good. Oh, Doctor Doctor uh what's it called? Pretty much Doctor uh oh my god. <laughs> Doctor Terror, the the thing with him on the volcano stage is it's just it's really hard. It's just really hard. So we'll check out the last one. I don't know if we can beat this, guys. Oh, we cannot beat this stage. It's got... Oh. It's got a shock launcher. Is that... How much space is that keeping up? No, we cannot defeat this stage. Unfortunately, guys, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm sorry I can't beat all the Dr. Terror stages. But eventually... of uh, Pretty much eventually... Uh, watching my videos for a while, you'll see me like go up to Doctor Terror stage ten, and then eventually twelve, thirteen, and eventually stage twenty. And at that point, I'll be able to beat everything, and I'll be really well. So I'm level thirty-five, guys, right now. I'm gonna be definitely doing some more, uh, pretty much Boom Beach gameplay and stuff like that. Um, it's definitely gonna be really cool, guys. So make sure to check it out. Check out all my other uh, pretty much Boom Beach gameplay, which will be coming really, really soon. I'm going to just show you guys a ton of cool stuff in Boom Beach. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it for this uh, Dr. Terror, pretty much Volcano stage, um, pretty much playthrough in a way. I only got up to Dr. Terror stage 5, unfortunately, guys. Uh, but like I said, I'll advance in the future and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would really, really be appreciated. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to apply to the Jimbo Evan Craft Network for a 70% revenue share. But that's it, guys. This has been Jimbo Evan, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.